Hi everyone, um, I'd like to welcome you to the CA Technologies webinar entitled Why CA Technologies, Why Now and Why You? I am joined by a number of my colleagues and um, they're here today to explain who CA Technologies are and what we offer as an employer of choice. Please feel free to submit any questions you may have at any time during the webinar using the chat feature. Uh, we're going to try and answer those questions for you at the end of the presentation during the Q&A session. Without any further delay, I'd like to introduce you to Snow. Hi, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everybody there. Um, my, uh, my name is Snow Burns, and um, I am on the corporate social media team at CA Technologies. And I am here to talk to you today about why CA Technologies, um, why it's a great place to work, why it's an extremely great place to, diverse place to work, and great place to work for women in particular. Um, and then I'll tell you a little bit about me and my role at CA and how happy I am working for a tech company. Um, CA Technologies is a Fortune 500 company that provides IT management solutions to help customers manage and secure complex IT environments. So CA Technologies, I would say, is not exactly a household name. I don't know. I'd love to take a poll of <laughs> how many of you on the webinar today have heard of us. Um, chances are you've probably heard of Oracle, SAP, IBM, um, some other people in our space. Um, when I started working at CA, I had actually not heard of us um, until I responded to a job posting, but I am very, very happy that I did. Um, I work out of our Silicon Valley office in um, Santa Clara, California. Actually, most of the time I'm a remote worker and I work from home, which is super awesome. Um, so what have I learned about CA since I've been working here? Well, we are a huge company. Um, we have over 13,000 employees in 45 countries and more than a thousand different products, which is pretty daunting if you think about it. Um, some really important things about us that are kind of not in the fine print here, we have some really great corporate values. Um, we really have great respect for people at CA. Um, it's a really open company, extremely diverse. We encourage honest ethical behavior. And, um, you know, I've just found so many friends um, among my coworkers. It's just been an incredible experience all over the world. Um, we uh, consistently innovate in advance. Um, we're always looking for ways to innovate and improve. I'm on the social media team, and there's just so many creative things to be doing all the time. And all my co colleagues on different teams just seems like they're having such a great time innovating and coming up with new ideas. Um, and it's an extremely collaborative environment. So that's definitely part of the CA's mission. Um, creating amazing team spirit is another of our core values. And it's just a really fun place to work. I, you know, not a day goes by when I don't have a lot of jokes and conversations with my colleagues about interesting projects we're working on. So I really think that, you know, even though um, coming into this webinar you may be curious about CA, you may not know too much about CA, one really important takeaway from this presentation is how great and positive of an environment it's been for me to work in. And I think that this is really demonstrated by some of the awards that we've won. You can see here on the slide, um, Working Mother um, has named us not only one of the best companies for multicultural women, but also best places to work. I know that a lot of you on the webinar are in college or just out of college, so Maybe this isn't quite <laughs> relevant for you yet, um, but uh, Working Mother um, has definitely taken notice of CA as a great place for women. Um, another award we've won, we've been part of Newsweek's 2012 Green Rankings, which is super cool, especially if you're in um, the Bay Area. We're very into green stuff. Um, and Computer World named us one of the best places to work in IT. So. You can see there's just you know a lot of things going on at CA, and um, I've been really happy here um, as both a technology worker and a female in technology. So um, you know can't endorse it enough. And um, with that, I'd love to um, go to the next slide and introduce you a little bit about what I do. <laughs> uh, as I said before, I'm on the social media team at CA Technologies. Um, 
And uh, Grumpy Cat up in the right, very universally recognizable feature. He's actually the mascot of our team. We try to incorporate him into a lot of emails and jokes that we make. Um, not necessarily things that we post to the outside world, but internal stuff. So Grumpy Cat is kind of always present in our, in our team meetings and activities. Um, social media team at CA is quite small. There's Probably there's five people on the immediate team and then we work with people across the company and across the world to manage communities of our partners, um, customers, and people who are interested in being customers. Uh, I personally manage communities up to about 200,000 people. I do not talk individually to each of these 200,000 people, but there are definitely people on our Twitter channels and on our LinkedIn channels that are listening to us every day. Um, and we're trying to keep the conversation interesting. Um, this little robot on the bottom left, he is a Snapbot. He is related to a product that we just released recently, um, and our social media team coordinated an effort to promote him and the product uh, very globally. So I was getting on phone calls at 9 p.m. Pacific time to talk to people in Japan and China about, you know, keeping our Twitter and social media efforts coordinated and it's just been a really cool project to talk to people all over the world and um, work with colleagues who are actually all over the world. Um, so super, super cool thing to do. And then as you can see here, there's also just some icons of other social media channels. Um, CA is present on all major social media channels. Uh, we are not on Snapchat. <laughs> um, we're not on Instagram. But we're definitely on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, um, Pinterest, and Google+. And so if you'd like to learn more about us and how we communicate with people, those are great places to go look. Um, so anyway, that's a little bit about me and my job and working at CA. Like I said before, it's been an extremely positive experience for me. Um, and I'd love to be able to answer any questions you have at the end about what it's like as a female at CA, um, what it's like to work in Silicon Valley, and what it's like to do social media at CA. Um, but with that, I think I will pass it over to, I believe, Trevor. Fantastic, Snow, thanks so much. Hey, uh, good afternoon, good morning, welcome everyone. Uh, this is Trevor Bunker from CA Technologies. Uh, thanks for being here with us today. So. Um, Give you a little bit of history about uh, myself. I've been with CA for about eight years now. I, uh, I actually joined CA when uh, CA acquired a small company that I was working with that I started with right out of school. We were a, a small little 200 person software company out of the Boston area, which is uh, the US Northeast for those uh, not here in North America. And uh, you know, it was, it was pretty exciting. I started off as a software programmer, got hired right out of school, did an internship, and you know, thought life was pretty good. And uh, about four years into working for this company, we uh, we got acquired. And uh, you know, I thought my uh, world was coming to an end. I, I was I couldn't imagine what it would be like to go work at a company with you know thirteen thousand different employees. Well, uh, eight years later, I got to tell you, it was probably the most incredible thing that could have happened to me. You know, I, uh, I've always loved to travel as a, as a kid. My family used to go travel a lot on holidays. And, uh, and in the eight years that I've been with CA now, you know, I've had the great pleasure of actually working all around the world. CA has taken me from Boston to San Francisco. I lived in Atlanta for a year and a half, moved me all the way out to Australia, where uh, I lived for uh, two and a half years, even got a chance to spend about six to eight months out on a project in Hong Kong. So, uh, you know, looking uh, back at uh, the success I've had here at CA, it's just been absolutely amazing. The opportunities I've had being part of such a great big company that uh, is just such a true global player. So I, uh, as I mentioned, been here eight years. I'm responsible for a team that's called pre-sales, or a lot of people in the industry refer to them as sales engineers. We're really the uh, technical engineers and consultants to go out with our sales teams. You know, we'll show customers our products, we'll do demonstrations. If a customer wants to try it out, we'll install it in their environment, you know, work with them for a week or two, and then, you know, help them build out sort of a solution or an architecture. 
We call it pre-sales because we work with the customer right up until the point that they purchase our product. Then a different group takes over and, and spends you know, multiple weeks or months with the customer implementing it in their environment. So for uh, somebody like me who likes to travel a lot, this, uh, this has been a great job because you know, we, uh, I probably spend about 40, 45% of my time on the road. Uh, I'm pretty lucky I get to do a lot of international travel, which I really like. Um, but I get to do a bunch of domestic as well. You know, you usually travel one to two days a week seeing customers, and, you know, in different cities around uh, North America. So, uh, you know, as Snow mentioned, you know, there's great opportunities. I, uh, I can't uh, stress enough about the culture of CA. Um, you know, one of the things that I'm most proud of what CA does is really support diversity. Um, I had the chance to join CA's LGBT association a few years ago, and uh, I've never been more proud of CA than when this year uh, the Human Rights Campaign actually rated CA as one of the top employers of choice and nationally recognized CA on their Equality Index. So, you know, just a great testament to the culture um, that we have within CA around the world. So if you just flip over to the, uh, the next slide, I just want to share a couple of thoughts about, you know, why I get so excited about working at CA and just, you know, why now? And, you know, we're very fortunate. Uh, I actually live here in New York City now, uh, based out of uh, one of our offices here. And, uh, you know, about six months ago, we had a new CEO join the company. And uh, it's been really, I don't want to say a breath of fresh air, but you know, he's really brought some great, exciting culture uh, to CA. You know, he uh, comes from Silicon Valley. He comes from the SaaS world. So he comes from sort of the latest generations of software and IT. And he's just really brought these three core principles to CA. And that is around innovation, execution, and speed. You know, one of the greatest things that you know, CA has going for it is we've been in business for 37 years. So we've got a tremendous heritage that we're really proud of, great customer relationships, great recognition in the industry. But, you know, like a lot of uh, companies, after a while, you could start to get a little complacent. And uh, Mike's just done a great job of keeping that enthusiasm, keeping that innovation alive here, really letting us function as a Fortune 500, but with that startup feel. And, and that's so true around how we innovate and drive new products, new ideas. So if you flip to the next slide, you know, just from a, a technology perspective, what really just gets us excited is just how IT is changing. You know, you think by 2012, there will be over 50 billion devices connected to the internet. And we're not just talking smartphones and tablets and PCs, but everything. I mean, think about all the devices that you have with you today that are potentially connected. You know, I'm wearing my Fitbit on my wrist that's telling me every day that I'm not walking enough steps or losing enough weight. You know, I've got, you know, my Wii at home, your PlayStations, your refrigerators, I mean, watches, everything is becoming connected. And what makes it so exciting for us is it's just driving a tremendous demand for our products, our services, our customers are really trying to figure out how to deal with all this transition and change. So it's just creating this great potential for us to innovate. So if you flip over to the next slide, you know, another really interesting area that uh, gets us excited is just around some of the new evolving technologies. And if you let the slide just build all the way up, you know, when we talk about things like Snow mentions social media, you know, how do our customers deal with social? You know, a lot of the projects, a lot of the products that we build are there to help customers leverage social media, help them better interact with their customers. You know, a lot of our customers today are trying to deal with, you know, how do you address mobility? You know, there's some pretty interesting research that said by uh, 2015, more people will access the internet on a smartphone than they will a PC or a laptop. So think of like think of what that does for like banks and movie theaters and insurance companies and everybody. I mean, everybody's got to change how they do business, and that's what CA Technologies does. Is help customers through that. And the one that I'm is around big data. You know, it's it's interesting. In the last year. We, as a you know, as a society, created more data. We produced more information than we did as human beings in the last 2,000 years. 
you know, the fact that we have over, you know, seven uh, zettabytes of data by 2015. And, you know, for those who don't know what a zettabyte is, a zettabyte is the equivalent of 250 billion DVDs worth of information. So just staggering, staggering data um, aggregation and helping customers figure out how do we mine all this data? How do we manage it? What do we do with all this information? Could we ever potentially just overflow on data and information? So great potential, a lot of activity happening there. So if you flip over to the next slide, you know, one of the other things that I get really excited about is, you know, we've got a lot of great solutions. We work in all sorts of different industries. You know, we're working with healthcare, we're working with retailers. You know, I just came off a big project where we're helping one of the retailers completely revamp their whole e-commerce solutions. So helping customers shop in the stores with their smartphones, doing QR code scanning, helping them, you know, pre-package and pre-wrap stuff before they go to checkout. It was a really cool project. You know, working with things like movie theaters, you know, a lot of the media companies. You know, technology is changing how they're going to go to market. So a lot of opportunity, a lot of different industries. And what I like about working at CA is because we're a software company, we get to work with a lot of different companies. You know, I'm not saying hardware is not important. You know, I'm a I'm an iPhone user. The iPhone's a great phone. But what makes the iPhone so great isn't actually the hardware. It's not the glass screen or the case. It's actually the operating system, the iOS. So being a software company, we get to work with you know the VMwares, the Dells, the Cisco, the IBMs, all these you know great companies that give us these great shiny new toys. We get to play with the latest technology. We get to see stuff before it comes out to market, so we can help them develop solutions. So. Working with the latest technology, you know, working with these other great industry companies just continues to really get me excited uh, at working at CA. So thanks again for, uh, for being here on the session, and uh, I'm going to hand it over now to the uh, next speaker. Hello, my name is Nikisha Newberry. I'm a software engineer here at CA Technologies. I work for a product called CA Endeavor Software Change Manager in the development R&D group. I work in the Framingham, Massachusetts office in the United States. I've been with CA since June 2009 after completing my Associate of, Sci of Science in Computer Science at Onondaga Community College OCC in Syracuse, New York. As a computer science student, I took Java, C, C++, Visual Basic, SQL database courses. My classes were focused on design principles, programming, computer systems, and organization, and with that also calculus and physics courses. As an early student, you may not have a clear vision of what your career future and what exactly your day-to-day -day life will be like. For me, I loved logic and mathematics, and I tried to be involved and also grow in personal skills. I tutored all levels of math and some intro computer courses for the School of Math Lab and Content Tutoring Center. Tutoring allowed me to give back to the community and improve my com communication skills and knowledge. I was also a member of Phi Theta Kappa and the OCC Honors Program. After enough technical courses, I began an internship at BNY Mellon in their Global Services Processing Division. That is where my career really got started. The application I worked for used CA Endeavor Software Change Manager which, as I said before, is the CA product I'm now a developer for. It's a mainframe product, so from that experience, I gained skills and familiarity with the platform and ZOS. I entered CA Technologies in their first mainframe associate software engineering program that they held in the United States. We were a class of about 25 recently graduated students with various backgrounds and skill levels. The knowledge shortage of mainframe-based skills has become a relevant problem for many companies, and CA Technologies has become active to bridge that gap as part of their corporate strategy, which has made CA a great place for young professionals. Can we move forward to the next slide? CA Technologies offers associate programs in software engineering, finance and accounting, marketing, and services consulting. Their associate programs allow someone early in their career to gain training and gradually build their expertise through teachers and mentoring programs. As a new hire, you'll be given the mechanisms to, in order to succeed and advance in your career. 
throughout these past four years, I've continued to grow in my technical skills. And I like that in addition to my role as the software engineer, I can join and participate in additional programs and initiatives that CA offers. Company-wide, CA started an employee culture transformation initiative to build upon a set of core values and enhance employee work satisfaction and goals. We also have a program called Site Vitality, aimed to increasing work-related skills and technical knowledge. I'm a member of the Framingham Culture Committee, which allows me to network across multiple departments of CA and outside my immediate development team. I can initiate events and utilize leadership skills while making a positive difference on behalf of the company. As a framing, at the Framingham office, we also have a local Toastmasters club where we can practice public speaking and communication skills. We have a young professionals employee network group, and that brings together all of us young professionals in the office, whether you work in development, sustaining, sales, marketing, business, finance. CA really promotes also a work-life balance, whether you're working from home or setting your own work schedule. At the Framingham office, we have a fitness gym on the second floor. I work out during lunch almost every day. CA provides free fitness classes as well, led by instructors. So if you're into step aerobics, Zumba, kickboxing, there's also that added benefit. But having a gym allows me to fit in a regular workout routine into my busy life schedule. CA also offers three volunteer days per employee for, per year. One year I organize as my product team to help out in a local boys and girls kids club. We're able to act as a team to benefit the community and we're recognized in the press and the CA news. Throughout my career here, I've gone to conferences. I've been published in Enterprise Executive Magazine, given technical demos to customers, and I've helped mentor the newer generation of employees that have been hired with the company. So just to conclude, like CA has been a great place to work in my experience. Accepting a career here, you'll not only get to improve on your technical skills, but you'll be able to work on other aspects and other networking skills and really become involved and just be able to grow in your career and ambitions. I've relocated from CA to CA from New York State to Massachusetts and while starting a new life here, I haven't regretted it since. Thank you. I'd just like to say thank you to the three speakers. Um, it was great to hear your stories at CA, and we have had a number of questions come in through the chat feature. Um, for everyone that's still listening, please feel free to ask any more questions, um, and I'll be repeating them live. So one of the first questions that came up was whether you'll be able to receive a transcript of the webinar. So I will be sending out, or Universum will be sending out after the webinar, a thank you email, and as that, you'll have a link to the video. So you'll be able to see the audio and visual from today's recording. Uh, the first question I have, I presume it's for Snow, um, which was, what type of projects can you work on in social media and marketing at CA? <laughs> Hi, thanks for that question, and I, I do assume that that's for me. <laughs> um, okay. we, have a, uh, we have a range of products, of projects that we work on. Um, each member of our team manages one or two major social media channels. And uh, can you guys still hear me? Sorry. Yep. And uh, so I, I, my colleague Lena manages our Facebook page, and I manage our LinkedIn and our um, CA Inc. corporate Twitter account page. And um, so one of the product projects that we have ongoing is just listening to our customers and clients on the social media channels and then responding to them. And then at events, using those uh, Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn channels to really collect feedback and respond to it in real time. Um, so that's one project. Um, another one that I worked on, work on uh, regularly is helping teams at CA Technologies leverage social media to get out their messaging. So somebody like Nikisha helps build a product, and then our social media team helps collect messaging and posts about that product and then we push them out on social media channels so that people who are interested on social media can learn more about them. Um, so helping write tweets and Facebook posts 
advising teams at CA for different products how to optimize what they write so that it will reach the most people. Um, that's another example of a project that we do. And we also work directly with social channels. So for instance, last week the whole team had a meeting at Twitter headquarters in San Francisco to talk about how we can use Twitter both um, in a paid advertising way and also in an unpaid way to best reach the people that are interested in our product products. So we're really heavily involved with social media companies um, and our team works across probably I would say you know every every product across CA has a social media presence and so even though there's not that many of us there's probably five on our core team um, we really you know kind of our funnel for a lot of content that goes from the products out into the world so it's been really cool to learn about all those products and um, those are just a few of the projects that I work on thank you very much snow um, Trevor, we have a question for you. How did you get to travel all over the world with CA Technologies? Okay, great. Yeah, so um, so originally I got the opportunity uh, to travel internationally for specific projects. So one of the products that uh, I had been trained up on and was supporting out in the field, we you know, was doing uh, was doing very well. Was getting very popular. So they needed some people initially to go out to Europe to help train. Uh, some people in our offices over there. So my first trip, I think, was uh, for a couple of weeks. It was great because anytime you do a multi-week trip, you get a weekend wherever you're going to be. So I got to go and see different parts of London and so forth. And then from there, I just uh, I kept raising my hand. You know, I uh, managers are quite good. If they know you like to travel, they'll certainly post it and say, "Hey, anybody want to go for a trip for two, three weeks here?" And you know, raise your hand and say, "Hey, I'm I'm game for for traveling." So. A lot of great opportunity. Fantastic. Thank you, Trevor. We have a number of other CA Technologies employees on the line, um, so they might want to jump in and answer this question. But we have somebody who is a mechanical engineer with a good number of computer skills. So would CA Technologies recruit people like themselves with a different background, so somebody that hasn't necessarily studied computer science? Anyone feel free to jump in. Sure, Sarah. This is Pui. I can take that question. Um, lots of skills in the engineering field are transferable skills. Uh, well, typically we don't hire mechanical engineers, but we have many employees who study mechanical engineer and now are in the field of software engineering. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily say that no, we wouldn't look at you. And if you look at most most people's backgrounds, they do learn a lot on their own. Uh, whether your studies were in the field of mechanical engineering, should you have studied or or taking an interest in software engineering and learn to code on your own, those are skills that we look at as well. Yeah. Fantastic. And, and this is Trevor, I mean, from, from a, a pre-sales or a sales engineering perspective, you know, the degree is certainly important. It, it demonstrates that, you know, you have the ability to learn. But most importantly, what we look for is, you know, people who demonstrate the ability to problem solve and to think. So whether you did mechanical engineering, civil engineering, environmental engineering, you know, it's certainly those engineering approaches. So, you know, for us it's much more about finding the right people that fit in the culture, that demonstrate that ability to learn and to solve problems, and who want to grow and continually expand and develop themselves. So, my advice to you, don't ever worry about applying for something. If it sounds interesting, pursue it. I'd like to add to that also. Um, this is Nikki Shinaberry. Um, as a software engineer, we are, I've been able to participate in some of the job fairs we had here at CA. So I've been accompanied other managers to local colleges to promote and encourage new applicants. And we've accepted resumes from electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, um, outside of just regular computer science. And actually, we've even hired some as well into the associate software engineering program. So it's really about demonstrating those technical skills, problem solving, and just proving yourself as a, a good candidate. So it doesn't just have to be into the standard uh, background. Thank you very much, Nikisha. We actually have a question for you as well. Um, how did you hear about CA Technologies, and did you join us as an associate or as a software engineer? 
I did join as an associate software engineer and had been promoted since then. So I joined into the mainframe software engineering program. They took a, every year they have a training program where they educate students, well, newly graduated students onto the role that they'll be doing with NCA. So for me, I joined a mainframe product group. So in my class were mainly students who some, most of them did not have any mainframe skills coming into the company. But CA Technologies started with a mentoring programs and education courses to get everyone up to speed and learning all these new skills. And then even when we come back to our offices and work with our individual product teams, we are assigned uh, technical mentors, business mentors, and really get to continue with that training and growing gradually into you know, the skills that you need to, de to develop your career in. Fantastic. Thank you very much. We have another question from someone who is a remote consultant for clients around the US in marketing, marketing communications and social media. They're asking how much of an influence does their existing location get factored into getting an interview? Um, I can answer that question for the first So Sarah reason. can take that question as well? Uh, but maybe, yeah, maybe Puya is a better 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 person sure so uh, and, and so I'll certainly turn it back to you and you can answer from a social media perspective as well sure. uh, but our employees today uh, work around the world they work remotely they do work from home they work from their client offices and they also work from our say offices so location is not a barrier uh, as a global organization we do interact and have to work as a global team um, as you heard, Snow is working from home. I happen to be working from home today as well. Work can be done practically anywhere. It's more about your output and what you produce and what you contribute to the organization, regardless of where you sit and where you provide that from. Certainly there are some positions in the organization where you do need to be client-facing and you need to be in front of your customers. Uh, and those are certainly uh, parameters that are taken into consideration based on the role. Um, just to chime in, um, I do work from home. This is Snow again, and have really, really enjoyed it. Um, the only workplace hazard is sometimes my dog barks when I'm on conference calls. I'm very impressed that he hasn't barked during this webinar. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, many of us do work from home, and the culture is supportive of that. But I also do have um, an office that I can report to. There's workspace there. Um, you know, sometimes you just want to see other fellow coworkers or have meetings. Um, there's definitely ways to kind of have, you know, the best of both worlds, which is I can go into my office and have meetings and, and meet with people, but I can also work from home. So it's, it's been an actually really great experience for me. Hi, uh, this is Nikisha. And Sarah, my, oh. Go ahead, Nikisha. I was just, gonna, just wanted to add a point that my interview actually was conducted over the phone. Um, I had never met my boss in person until after I got hired. But I think the, the clear attributes they look for is, you know, is your leadership skills, maturity, how well you can multitask, and how well you can collaborate with others. Just those attributes that allow you to um, come across as someone motivated, eager, and um, being able to adapt quickly. And this is Montrese Smith. Yeah. I will add um, in and terms of the, I'll, I wanted to add yeah. in terms of the collaboration, um, it's really great whether you're traveling or working from home, the, um, the tools that we have and the way our environment is set up, it does make it quite easy and we even leverage a a tool called Chatter where if you're not sitting in an office you can still um, be part of the conversation. There's ongoing dialogue about our tools, our technology, what's happening in the marketplace and you have opportunities to um, chime in through that as well. So lots of collaboration and lots of ways to stay connected whether you're traveling or working from home. Yeah, and one more comment is, is around the conversation around where do you have to be with regards to being for an interview. 
Uh, many of our interviews are done remotely as well. Makisha mentioned that she had a phone interview. Uh, you know, since then, we do have the ability to do interviews over video as well. So as a candidate, you would be remote. Uh, you'd be sitting in front of your laptop, in front of a webcam, and having your interview directly with the recruiter and then the hiring manager and any other interviewers as well. So uh, you really could be anywhere in the world for those interviews and apply to practically any position as well. Thank you very much, everyone. Trevor, another question for yourself. You mentioned that CA has recently gained a new CEO. What big changes have you seen or been involved in during the past six months? Yeah, and, and that's a great question. You know, as I mentioned, you know, I think Mike has continued to bring a sense of innovation. You know, Mike is a, a real product guy, which is uh, for someone in the in the technical side of the business. Uh, you know, I really appreciate that. You know, he brings a great commitment and focus to quality. He is uh, absolutely a visionary in that he sees where our industry will be in the next three, five, ten years and is doing all the right things to align us in terms of, you know, the products we build, the markets we go after, the partnerships that we develop, the alliances, you know, with the different tech companies that we forge. So I think he's continues to uh, to bring a lot of vision and a lot of focus for us as a company. Thank you very much, Trevor. Uh, there's a question for the recruitment team. Um, are you looking just to recruit new college graduates? The candidate or the person on the webinar has been in the IT world for a while now, so are we recruiting across the whole business or just in the graduate space? This is Montrese. I can take that one. We are absolutely recruiting a, a across um, the business and across different levels. Um, we did want to provide this information for uh, students and individuals who are early in their career or starting their career, but we have um, plenty of opportunities around the world for seasoned professionals, and um, all of that information is available on our career site. Thank you very much, Montrese. Uh, there's a question from Gabriel. Uh, he would like to know, as a master graduate in information technology and with a bachelor's in finance with minimal programming classes, where can they fit into CA technologies? Well, I'll jump in. This is Trevor. Yeah, I would certainly be interested in talking to you for, uh, for pre-sales. You know, interesting with a, a finance background but uh, an understanding of technology, you know, that would well position you to work with customers to understand the requirements, help them build out solutions that are going to deliver business results back to them, and then you know ultimately work with our services teams and others to implement those. So one of the things we always look for, obviously, is a great base uh, foundation understanding of technology. But the more that we can learn about our customers, the more we can understand you know, from a financial perspective how our customers operate the better we can service them. So I would definitely say look into a sales engineering or a pre-sales role, Gabriel. Thank you very much, Trevor. Another question is, as a student who has 70 credits in computer networking and programming, with so many categories, which direction is the best to go to or to follow through in education? So I'll take this again, it's Trevor. Um, if, if I understood the question correctly, you said they are working on their credits in networking? So they're working on their credits, and they have 70 credits so far in computer networking and programming. So what direction of study is the best to go to from there? Yeah, so you know we're seeing today just in the industry a lot of focus today around um, programming, right? So a lot around development. We also see a lot of our customers needing to hire people uh, in network administration, systems administration. Um, you know, if you have any opportunity to take any classes around some of the newer technologies, specifically in networking around, you know, LTE, 3G, next generation uh, networking technologies, I would definitely recommend those. That's what our customers are looking to hire. Those are the you know, very current and innovative solution that we're delivering to market. So those skills are in demand, especially for uh, service providers and carriers right now. Thank you very much. 
Um, another question, uh, potentially for Montrese. Do CA have a particular hiring season for new graduates? If so, when is this hiring season? And how can individuals take part in the Associate Software Engineering program? That's a great question. So we do um, much of our hiring in the fall season, um, concurrent with the um, hiring season that you'll find at your campus. Um, we are also out in spring as well. And um, typically, the um, associate software engineer position um, has classes starting in the June time frame. I know that's what we're um, looking to hire for right now. But um, just understanding there's a broad uh, set of experience on this call, I will say that we have a number of associate positions in various um, areas that are open. Uh, just to give you a, a contrast, for example, we have associate inside sales opportunities in our Plano, Texas office, and um, some of those positions are starting in January, so we're actually looking for December grads. So the associate hiring uh, can really happen year-round, but typically for the software engineers, um, that's often for a June uh, timeframe. Thank you very much, Montrese. A question for all again. How are there mobility opportunities within the company for moving up or changing divisions and locations? I think it's very well. I myself um, was hired I guess I can... in the Framingham, Framingham, oh, in the Framingham office, and I have had two colleagues um, choose to relocate to other offices. One wanted to move back to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, because he wanted to be closer to family, and one wanted to move to Texas because he wanted a new location, a new experience. Also, I have someone within my own product group team. She decided she wanted to gain new skills and learn another product, and she was able to transfer to another development team right within the same office. Yeah, and I can elaborate as well, both personally and, and having seen folks in our organization move as well. The opportunities to change locations um, exist. Trevor spoke about it earlier. Just raise your hand if you have an interest in moving, you want to be somewhere else in the world. Um, just let people know. and and we're always looking for people to share experiences, both learn from you, but also have you learn from them uh, as you travel around the world and spend time in, in our other offices. Personally, I've traveled uh, both domestically and across the world. I happen to have lived um, in India as well, had a great time, and have relocated back to the U.S. So the opportunities uh, are tremendous. doesn't matter what line of business you may be in. And certainly you can change career paths within an organization like C Technologies as well. So if you happen to be in the world of human resources and you decide that, you know what, I really want to focus more on the technology or the pre-sale side, once again, just raise your hand. So opportunities are there for the asking. Yeah, this is Snow. Um, I uh, Even just this spring, um, my husband had to go to D.C. for four months of job training. And because I'm a remote worker, I could go with him and work from there, and I actually had an opportunity to spend quite a bit of time working out of our DC office and meeting people there. Um, so just in terms of being able to move around quite freely, I was very pleasantly surprised that CA was very supportive of you know my life change and um, my different working hours. So you know I, I think that there's you know the opportunities are there if you do just ask. Thank you very much. Um, Montrese, another question for you. Is there a way to stay connected to CA Technologies and learn about relevant jobs? Absolutely. We um, have an active talent community. Um, you can join by texting the word INNOVATE to 313131, and you'll get an instant uh, response on your phone, and we'll give you the link to our talent community. When you click the link, there's just some basic information we look for. And that will put you in touch with us and um, stay connected, get a lot of information through our um, updates in terms of what's going on in the company, insight for your career, and um, information about events happening in your area. So again, it's texting the word INNOVATE to 313131. Thank you very much. That also ties into one of the questions um, that I, I may answer as I say it. Um, but somebody is working from home, running a freelance marketing and design business. They're unsure where they fit in the business. And do we have somebody in HR or the talent acquisition team 
who can help pick a good position to apply for. So again, as Montreux has suggested, I would check out the career site, I would sign up to the talent community, but also feel free to network with anyone who's on the webinar today on LinkedIn to ask the questions, and if you have that kind of a question where you need some specific advice, I'm sure that myself and my colleagues would be more than happy to help you. A uh, question has just come in. Can you join through the career site as well, Montrese? Yes, absolutely. If you're on our career site, you will see a link um, there to click and join the talent community. So either way, uh, we'll get you in. Fantastic. Um, another question for the telephone line for anyone. Uh, what business units or position is recommended for someone who is graduating with an MBA or an MS in information systems and with interest in media and e-commerce or retail sectors? So I'll take that as Trevor. I mean, you know, our uh, our e-commerce, our entire try and buy uh, programs are all driven out of our business operations and product marketing functions. So, you know, with with a background and an interest like that, I would strongly take a look at potentially getting into the business side of CA or or the marketing side. Fantastic. Thank you very much. A question that I feel will be for Puya. Um, does CA Technologies offer any benefits for furthering education? Sure. So we encourage our employees to further their education. Uh, we offer a tuition reimbursement program uh, where you can continue your education and have CA Technologies help fund that program for you. Whether uh, you're in an associate's program, a bachelor's program, a master's program, as so long as your degree is going to be related to your career at CA Technologies, we'll certainly encourage and help fund that for you as well. So, great question. Yeah, and Puya, just Trevor, just to add to that too, you know, not only is it post-secondary education, you know, formal degrees, but it's also professional development and training that, uh, that we pay for and, and promote. So, for example, it could be you know, getting your Cisco certification, your A plus certification, you know, getting certified in ITIL or TOGAP, these different industry standards. You know, training doesn't always have to necessarily just be formal courses as well. We strongly promote, you know, that you remain current with the latest industry trends and technology. So we send a lot of our employees to conferences. We send them to trade shows that they can see not only what CA is doing, but what our competitors are doing. They can, you know, participate in different industry groups and in different uh, councils and so forth. So, you know, in the spirit of ongoing learning and development, you know, we certainly will help you with formalized in university and college, but we also continue to invest heavily in you through other methods. Thank you very much. So a bit of a challenging question for anyone who would like to take it, but what makes us different from our competitors? Our people. <laughs> it, certainly, it certainly is our people. Um, it's the ability to do what you want to do and make a difference. Um, really, you know, Snow, you spoke about being innovative. Um, Really taking the lead and creating a role, a role out of your interests, whether that is related to uh, technology, business, finance. I think that makes us difference. We're given the opportunity to grow and make that difference. I think um, to chime in, um, one of the things that I've been really pleasantly surprised about at CA is that I've had the ability to really script and um, design my own projects and um, you know there's just a lot of kind of ground to be broken in terms of social media and even digital marketing um, and CA is very open to you know new employees and new ideas and um, you know really not you know entrenched in stone in terms of how we do things and so I think that that innovation is really you know something that differentiates us um, I've been here just over a year now and you know, have been able to contribute to some of even the most important projects in the marketing department, and it's, you know, it's felt really great. So, yeah, really highlight innovation um, as a differentiator, I would say.
Thank you very much. As some advice to some of the either recent graduates or people still at university on the call, what things do you think make a resume stand out for someone applying for graduate roles? I'm happy to take that. It's Montrese. I mean, beyond the obvious um, degree program and, and the courses you've taken and a strong GPA, um, for me personally, having an eye for both campus recruitment and diversity recruitment, I'm always interested in, in what are those other things, those life experiences that um, you know, make you the person you are today. Uh, we were just recruiting at um, Baylor University last week with our sales team. And I was noticing on some of the resumes as, as we um, were standing at the booth and, and collecting them, um, the experiences for um, study abroad and, and some of those uh, volunteer opportunities were the things that spoke to me, um, things that build character and really, really make you that whole person, having different experiences to help um, uh, solve problems and, and within the company it would certainly help you to see the world differently and to um, work as a team with a, with a unique uh, experience and background so together we would uh, solve client problems in a very innovative way. Thank you very much. That is all the questions we have received so far. So if anyone else on the webinar would like to ask a question, please feel free to type it in now. Alternatively, do any of our speakers or panelists have anything they'd like to add as a final comment? Has everyone uh, said everything they'd like to say? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this is Snow. Um, I've already had a couple people reach out to me on LinkedIn, um, and certainly I'm available. Um, we also do have a CA underscore careers Twitter handle um, that you can follow as well and reach out to. I know that um, our recruiting folks are on there. So from a social media perspective, there are various other ways to track us down, and I'm more than happy to talk to anybody on social networks. Thank you very and much. This is Montrese. I'll add beyond our um, visits to the. Sorry, this is Montrese. I just wanted to add beyond the um, uh, travels that we'll do to uh, various campuses around the country. Um, we're also at a number of national events, uh, including the Society for Women Engineers Conference. We'll be at the Nesby Re Regional Conferences in um, LA and in New York. We'll be at the SHIP uh, National Conference in Indianapolis. So. A number of events, and these are um, posted on our, our company Facebook page as well. So again, from our career site, you can get a lot of information, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you. Thank you very much. We have had a couple more questions just coming quickly. Um, somebody is looking for a job at ASAP and living in Long Island, New York. They have an associate's degree in computer science, but no employment history in the field yet. Will we consider somebody that has no direct employment history in the field, and what's the best way of them getting in touch with us? I'm happy to take that one again. It's Montrese. Um, absolutely, um, our associate positions uh, typically require zero to two years of experience, so um, we would not discount you for lack of experience. Um, please do visit our career site ca.com slash careers and look for the associate positions and certainly uh, in Long Island of course uh, our headquarters are, are right there on Long Island in Islandia and uh, would look forward to seeing your resume come through. Thank you very much Montrese. Um, the final question was whether we could repeat the names of the presenters. So we've had Snow Conant Burns, Trevor Bunker and Nikisha Newbury presenting. And as part of the panel, we've had Puya Kani, Montre Smith, and myself, Sarah Emanuel. So I'd just like to thank you all again for coming along and participating in today's webinar. You will receive an email afterwards, which will have the recorded webinar. So it will be a video that you can watch. And we look forward to seeing you in our talent community soon. So please feel free to go to our website and sign up or text as Montre suggested. Thank you very much, everyone.